So many decisions to make when it comes to your wedding that for sure you never think of when you first get married. In this case, her sister-in-law wants her brother to walk her down the aisle instead of her father. It's causing a lot of tension. So if you guys have some drama going on in your life, want to share it with Burt Show, hit us up at theburtshow.com. Davi has this email. Burt Show, help! First off, I love y'all so much. True P1 here. Whoop, whoop. Anyways. Whoop. My sister-in-law is getting married this summer. My husband and I are not in the wedding, which was fine with us. We're happy to help with anything else and be supportive. My sister-in-law and my husband, her brother, have different fathers. Neither of their dads have ever been fully involved in their lives, and this has played a huge role in who they are as a person. Their mom has been divorced from their father for about 20 years. With that said, she wants my husband to walk her down the aisle. We're so excited to have him play such a huge part in her special day. Insert Bert's <laughs> special day voice. It's your special day. <laughs> it's your special day. <laughs> but her dad has now expressed how he wanted to walk her down the aisle. And it's caused a lot of problems. Her dad is supposed to pay 2500 towards the wedding. And my mother-in-law is footing most of the rest of the bill. Her dad has always promised her money for things and never ever come through. Because of this, my husband and I have agreed to cover what el whatever costs are left, and she wants me to talk to her father about how he isn't going to walk her down the aisle. She's a people pleaser and doesn't want to hurt her dad's feelings. But I barely know this man. I'm happy to help with the situation, but how do I even start this conversation? Like, hey, how's it going? By the way, you're not walking your daughter down the aisle. <laughs> See you at the wedding. Right. Uh, this is too hard help. Please. A devoted sister-in-law. I have no idea. What do you do? Well, I mean, this is not the sister-in-law's place. Mm. I mean, I think I think it was out of place for them to ask her to be the one to deliver this news. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this isn't even her dad. Mm -hmm. And it's, it is her special day. It's it's her father-in-law who, who she hasn't had hardly any contact with because he hasn't... Um, it's, not, it's not even her husband's father. That's the thing. It's not even her husband's father because <laughs> the husband and the sister have two different dads. Her husband and his sister have two different dads. <laughs> You're this, getting more and more angry as you talk. As yeah, you work it out. They head. never should have asked her to do this. <laughs> right. Like this. Well, is, they didn't ask her to do anything else. This is her one job. Her one <laughs> yeah. her the hardest one, and she had one job. Yes, I would be like, you know what? Can I just please pass the programs out when people walk in? <laughs> Can't she Can go I back? guard the guest book? Please? Yes, yes. <laughs> that's the only <laughs> mini job I want right there. I just want to hold a pen. This, I, that's all I want to do is hold a pen. Can't she say no to it and just yes. go look? It's like inappropriate for me yes. to be the one to have to deliver this especially it's the special day no i i would 100 percent be like listen thank you for entrusting me in delivering this news however i do not know this man <laughs> no. he's not even my husband's father like it is not my place to disclose this if anything like she should have asked her mom or should have asked her brother it's a, it's a tough ask no doubt uh, but like for me the fact that i really don't know him and have no ties to it that would make it easy for me to do really yeah i would just do it you think he would understand no, 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 not at all. <laughs> I don't think he's going to receive it well. But if, if if like they asked me to do it, I would just do it. I just tell him. Dobby, really? if you were asked to do this, would you do it? Um, probably because I've gone through it through it myself, you know. And I understand. Like I just happened to uh, be able to get all the way to my wedding without anybody telling my dad. <laughs> like <laughs> that, we didn't have to have the conversation. But afterwards, when the pictures go up of my mother walking me down the aisle, and we looked gorgeous sorry i wasn't gonna let my dad show up in a stupid like harley davidson tie <laughs> and some jean shorts and a wife beater to walk me down the aisle but um after the fact he's like so people saw on facebook you got married what the heck he was he was pissed mm -hmm. and i was like when's the last time we spoke frank <laughs> like, right. like literally when and he couldn't think of it and i was like okay there's your answer yeah. like it, it should it should be easy but i understand like i was in a people pleasing pleasing moment in my life so i didn't want to have the conversation until afterwards so if a friend asked me to do this i would think she was asking me based off of my experience and i would be gung-ho to help her Gotcha. And in your situation, too, it's sad because he reached out to you, not because he wanted to walk you down the aisle, but he was worried about what other people thought about mm -hmm. him not walking you down the right. aisle. Right. Yeah, even that was his, that's what bothered him. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Alex, good morning. You're part of the Bird Show. What you got? Hey, guys. Um, I listen to you guys every morning on the way to work. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. Um, I was in the same situation. 
and did not want my father to walk me down the aisle. And I knew that I was going to hurt his feelings. And so I had him do the first dance and then had my grandfather walk me down the aisle and just talked up the dance so much um, in a way that made him feel special and included because he also didn't put any money towards our wedding. Mm. And, so. he, and he bought that crap, huh? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's misdirection. <laughs> you know? It's genius. Look over here. <laughs> right. So if you're not the person, if you're going to suggest that um, you're, she's not the one that should have this conversation, then who do you suggest she say, that's the person that needs to have this talk? Ugh. <sighs> I personally <laughs> I personally would be like, listen, this is this this is – Above my pay grade. I can't do this. I don't care who you ask to do it, but yeah. I'm not going to do it. It's my special day, and I shouldn't have to do this. <laughs> no, it's not her special day. It's a friend's special day. It's her sister-in-law's, sister-in-law's special, yeah, special day. Yeah, yeah. yeah she so, shouldn't have to do it. No, and I, so I'm like, you, listen, you can. I'm going to politely decline the offer to tell your dad he can't walk you down the aisle, so you can go with your second choice. The Burt Show. Hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Burt Show for free. We drop new podcasts every weekday, and you can find us anywhere. Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.